Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today we are going to finish our picture from Mystery Mosaics. This is from Wow Cats and it is by Belba Family. This is for the Belba Family Color Along going on in the month of March and it is hashtag Belba in March. I am co-hosting this with Shelly from The Stitching Colorist and Nikki from Nikki in Niagara and I will again link their channels down below in the description. I will link this book also and I am coloring them with the Ohuhu dual tips and I just recently reviewed these. Um, if you'd like to see that, it is in uh, two playlists. It's in my reviews and swatching playlist. So you can go back and look at those if you want. And I have my handed in a little chart. So I did complete some of this off camera so that we could finish this up tonight. Um, I left, you know, some of this all to do. So... I think we have 16s to do here, yes. Okay, 16 is number 83. 83, okay. So how is everybody doing? Let me zoom you in here first. I hope everybody is safe and that everybody is doing well. Still scary times around, as we all know. But this is a place where we can just forget about all that for a while, right? So nice for those of us who color and craft because we all need some stress relief right now. I still love curling up in my chair at night and coloring or working on color charts. I always have color charts to do it seems. I do now have all of the Arteza Everblend color charts done. So I separated everything all out. I have the Arteza Skin Tones, I have the Arteza Gray Tones, and previously when I only had the 60 set of the Everblends and then the Skin and Gray Tone sets, I combined everything into one color chart, all the unique colors between those three sets. Well, since I now have the 120 set, I thought what I would do is I separated everything out again. I So like I said, I have just the 60 set in a color chart without the um, skin tones and gray tones in it. So I have four different charts now, the skin tone, gray tone, 60 set, and 120 set. So again, if anybody's interested in any color charts, you can just email me and I would be happy to send them to you. Now keep in mind, you know, they're just in the order that I wanted them <laughs> and it may not necessarily be in the order you want them. But it would give you a starting point. Even after I swatched them out, I would notice, oh, why did I put that one there? <laughs> so it's not exactly in the order I want them, but it's like, oh, good enough. So, yeah. I am still planning on, just haven't gotten around to it yet, but planning on converting because these are all MS Word documents and I realize not everybody has Word on their computer and so I am going to be converting everything to PDFs putting them in a shared folder on my Google Drive 
and then putting a link to that Google Drive in the description of every video. So then anybody that wants one of those color charts, you don't have to contact me anymore. You can just go to that shared folder and download what you want. So when I have all that available, I will announce it in a color and chat. I don't want to do a separate video about it because I don't want everybody, you know, downloading those. They are, I'm providing them all free of charge for my subscribers. So I want you guys to have access to them as my way of saying thanks for your support. Thanks for supporting my channel. So yeah, I will let you guys know when that's up and running. Just another thing on my to-do list. That to-do list just never seems to shrink. <laughs> Which I guess is good, because I never get bored. <laughs> no such thing as boredom. Matter of fact, I haven't even been able to... I haven't gotten around to diamond painting in a long time. So, yeah, one of these days I want to get back at that, too. <laughs> but it's better to have too much to do than not enough, right? I'd rather be busy. There's always something to color. I have a number of things going on right now, and I am typically not one to have whips. <laughs> but I have a few of them going right now, which is very unlike me. I was working out of a few of my newer books and testing out some different coloring mediums, so now i got to go back and finish them. See if I can get them all done by the end of the month. <laughs> Which is coming up quickly. I can't believe this weekend will be the last color and chat for Belba in March. I can't believe that. It's almost April. Unreal. But that does mean we are closer to spring. It's raining outside right now and getting foggy and seeing my first robins yesterday. It's like, yay, spring is coming. Unless it's like last year. The robins were here, the trees were starting to bud out, and then we got that huge snowstorm in April. Two years in a row that happened. That's not fair. <laughs> and these poor birds. It's like, what are they going to eat? There's no bugs or anything out now. They're buried under a foot of snow. So yeah, hope that doesn't happen this year. I heard the funniest story on the, the news yesterday. This, and I can't remember where it was, but this adorable little Dachshund dog <laughs> was so ecstatic over all the attention he was getting because mom and dad were home all day 
um, because of, you know, a crisis we're in the middle of. And yeah, he was so excited and he waved his tail so much. He sprained his tail. How can a dog, sp I've never heard of that, a dog spraining their tail. <laughs> um, he's going to be just fine, but yeah, he's spraining a tail from wigging it too much. <laughs> uh, I thought that was hilarious. Poor little doggy. So, it is Wednesday night, and kids just left a little while ago, except for one who is still here. I don't know if he can hear me or not. He's back behind me in a big box. Does he hear you? You can hear me? Yes. <laughs> uh, he decided he want to... He wanted to stay overnight. He wanted to sleep in the big box. We had kept one of the boxes that one of uh, the chairs from our new furniture that uh, it came in. And then when I had a house showing, we had to take it back apart because I had taped it all together for him. I had to take it all back apart and put it back out in the garage for, for the house showing. Well, now I had to bring it back in again tonight, tape it back together because he wants to sleep in it. <laughs> Jaden, I think it's going to be awful cramped in there. I mean, granted, it's a big box, but he's 12, so... <laughs> But yeah, he's got his pillow and blanket in there already. Your pillow and blanket. My pillow and blanket. You bought them. Oh. Okay, my pillow and blanket. <laughs> Let's get technical. Okay, is that all the 16s? Yes. So, all we have left then. Oh, here's one. He didn't when they hide like that. I think we just have black. Oh, here's two 18s I missed. Okay. And 18 is 67. Oh, yeah, that was that pretty purple. Nope. That's 51. Okay, where's my 67? There we go. Oh, it was green. Green? Oh, yeah, cat's eyes. Okay. Got it. Remember last time I said I wasn't sure if it was going to be a cat and a dog or two cats? Yeah, it's definitely a dog. <laughs> After I uh, turned the camera off last time, I'm like... Yeah, that's a dog. <laughs> okay, so let's do all the blacks. 22 is black. So we'll do all these little things that look like snowflakes or stars or something. I have a cat over here by the heat vent where she likes to lay all the time. Just a snoring away. <laughs> I can hear her way up here. Okay. And then this weekend with doing the last picture for the Belba family color along, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do because I won't get it done in one sitting. And 
What is the last? When is the last day of the month? What's today? The whoops. Today's the twenty fifth. Must be. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't look it up. But if I do record a part two of that, it may just get posted after the end of the month. I'm not sure. Either that or I'll just finish it off camera. And then um, I'll just show it for the uh, what I all got done in March. That's what I might end up having to do because I don't know if I'm... I would have enough time to record both parts and it would be too much to do in one color and chat so and I have a dog who's trying to dig the china again back here Yella I don't know why she does that Jaden oh my god Oh, you would not believe what he just did. Jeez. I'm glad you're in that box. <laughs> That's a 12-year-old for you. Good heavens. Yeah, one moment. Yeah, alrighty, I'm back. Oh, man, oh, man. He had to open the flaps of the box. <laughs> oh lordy never a dull moment with kids around and Levi is starting to crawl finally still gets around pretty fast on his belly but now that he's starting to learn to crawl I'm sure he's going to find out that oh hey this works even better and he gets around fast enough on his tummy. But so, takes more effort. Yeah, I would think so. But once you yeah. get good at it, you crawl way quicker. <laughs> so yeah, he'll be getting around even better shortly. Not necessarily a good thing. He can get into my kitchen faster than, oy. and there's not a whole lot he can get into except the, yeah, the cat food dish and the big, big, uh, I have a big stainless bowl of water for the animals. And yeah, he's tipped that over once already on him, completely soaked. I remember Maddie doing that a couple of times, too. They get to it before you even can see them. I forgot what I was doing. But, yeah. He was a little bit faster than what I thought he was going to be. <laughs> and the only other thing that he likes to get into now is... In the dining room is where I have all my coloring book bookcases and my two carts with all my uh, coloring supplies in. Well, he can open the bottom drawer of the one because it's just those, you know, it's the metal cart, but then those multicolored plastic drawers, you know with the little silver knobs on and yeah he likes to pull that bottom one open which I have I have paint brushes in there so it's not that big of a deal but because those only slide on those metal slides you know they're on that track I mean it's not the most expensive cart in the world so it's you know not super sturdy and so he'll be pulling down on that drawer and pulls it off the track all the time. So, plus he slobbers all over my brushes. <laughs> He's still at that stage, you know, where everything goes in his mouth. 
And his dad once said to Heather, he says, why does he put everything in his mouth? And like Heather told him, that's how babies discover the world. <laughs> they find out everything by putting it in their mouths. And so, yeah, he's still discovering everything by putting it in his mouth. But he's getting so big. He will be, he's almost eight months old now. Wow. Where did that time go? Time flies when you're having fun. You know, I think back to when my kids were, were little. It's like, how did I ever do it with four of them? And the youngest two were only two years apart. And then my oldest two, one of them being Heather, fought like cats and dogs. Oh my gosh, those two were at each other constantly. Two very strong-willed, strong-minded girls. Yeah, not a good combination. So, oh yes, it was a challenge, you know, but you're younger then, and, you know, even though I was, you know, working full time, and you just, you make do. The weekends were always dedicated to cleaning and laundry, and there was, there was no peace and quiet and rest. But that is anybody's household when you have little ones, right? But boy, you look back on it now and it's like, oh. So, you know, sometimes you just want those days back. Now my kids are all grown up and out of the house and having babies of their own. <laughs> My oldest two have kids, and my youngest two don't. <laughs> so, I anticipate more grandkids, but hopefully not for a while. <laughs> Except my son. Him and Leah have been married now for... Four years. Yeah, it's three and a half. It'll be four years this year. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to see when they start a family. I think they're kind of waiting to um, buy a house first. And now with both of them leaving Wassa here and both getting pretty good jobs over in Green Bay, I think they're saving for a down, well, they've been saving for a down payment on a house. Which, boy, with the interest rates right now, now's the time to get one. I was talking to my realtor, and I, you know, I said, are you guys even, you know, going to be working? Because effective yesterday morning, Wisconsin got put in a lockdown. And, Not a complete lockdown. But there's... So, you know, except for essential businesses, well, they clarified what was essential businesses. And it basically, everything that was open before this order went into place is still going to be open. They're all pretty much essential. The bars can even stay open if they um, have takeout food. So the restaurants can all stay open if they have delivery, drive through or takeout. I don't, I don't think they can have takeout. And yes, they can. Oh. And uh, you can't go in the building. And like, you know, the attorneys are, you know, even the mechanics and I mean, pretty much everybody except for 
you know, the tattoo parlors, the hair salons, the massage, you know, those those types of things. But, you know, and no indoor eating, you know, restaurants and bars and stuff. But, yeah, pretty much everything that was open before is still going to be open. So Heather's still working because, as I've stated in the past, she deals with the mail. So she will be working. Construction is still going, so her fiancé, Adam, is still working. Bob's still working because they're in the food industry, so yeah. Not really a whole lot has changed here. So, yeah. But as long as the schools are shut, I'm still going to have all three of these guys every day. Driving me crazy. <laughs> At least, I think. Now, Heather's long days are hopefully done. She was able to come a little bit earlier tonight, so which was good because I knew, I knew I wanted to record this second part tonight and get this uploaded for you guys like I was hoping I'd be able to. So then, yeah, this weekend we will start, at least start, the last... Last picture for the Bilba family color along. And if possible, then I will start. I'll do part one of the color and chat on Saturday. And then, possibly, depending on what all else is going on, maybe I'll just go ahead and record part two. And then I'll get that up. Um, whenever the first is, <laughs> I don't have a calendar in front of me, um, because I'll have, evidently, I'll have my other videos to make, too, for the end of the month. Boy, that just doesn't seem possible. Wow. It seems like March just started. Easter's coming up. Boy. Oh, April Fools is coming up. <laughs> Anybody have any good April Fools jokes planned? One year when I was still working for um this attorney I was working for, I was his paralegal. Well, I was his do everything person. <laughs> And this April 1st was shortly after I had broken my wrist. And it was broken really good. I had to have surgery and I had to have pins and rod and everything put in. And so for, and it, he, you know, he couldn't run his office without me. And so right after I had surgery within a few days I was back at work I couldn't type with two hands <laughs> so I was kind of handpicking but I could at least answer the phones and you know that kind of stuff well because <laughs> that was on March 8th I remember that because it was my sister's birthday so for April Fools because he was so happy you know to finally get me back at work yeah, I was only off a few days, but so for April 1st, I played a April Fool's joke on him and said I needed additional surgery and I had to be off somewhere. <laughs> oh my, he almost had a heart attack. He's like, what? <laughs> I still remember that. That was one of my better ones. And you know, I let them uh, go for a little while, and then I said, Jerry, I said, what day is it today? 
He had to stop and think. And then he's like, oh, yo. <laughs> hmm, that's funny. So I'm like, hmm, who can I play a joke on this year? And what should I do? <laughs> I don't do an April Fool's joke every year. Oh, well, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, we just found out today, too, that we have a citywide garage sale. We're always the first ones. There's a lot of the towns around here that have, you know, where the whole city, city, town, village, whatever, um... It all the you know there's a ton of houses that all join in on this citywide rummage sale and marathon's always the first one and it's always the last weekend in April well we got an email today I wasn't going to be in it but Heather has a ton of baby clothes and toys and stuff to sell so she was just going to have it here well found out, got an email today that, yeah, they're postponing it, which I kind of figured they would do. Can't really have a bunch of people coming in your garage with everything going on. But they're still hoping to have it maybe in June. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Missed, missed the doggies ear up here. But, Wow. That went pretty fast. I thought this would take longer than this. Oh, <laughs> I'm just missing all kinds of stuff up here. We got another snowflake to do here. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they look like snowflakes to me. All right. What's everybody else coloring? Are you uh, coloring any Belba family? And what do you color yours with? Do you do the X or cross stitch method or the solid, color in solid? And what do you color yours with if you, you know, are coloring out of the Belba family? As you can see, I only use fine liners in mine and I always do the cross stitch method because I just find it so relaxing and I love it. So yeah, I've gone Belba family nuts this month and you'll see that in my end of the month video when I show you what I all colored this month. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, look at our cute kitty. Now his eyes, why are they staying white? Hmm. That looks kind of funny, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. We could make them blue. Should we make them, should we give them blue eyes? I just, I don't like that white. <laughs> it looks like they're glaring in the flash of a camera. Let's give them some pretty eyes. Let me see. What's a pretty, hmm. Should we give them pale blue eyes like a husky? Because, <laughs> um, yeah, we don't want to give them brown eyes. Let's see. Let's see what this pale blue would look like. This might be too light. No. Does that look better? Let me zoom you back in. I just didn't like that white. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks better. Looks like husky eyes now. <laughs> yeah, I like that better. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we are done. I like the kitty's green eyes. All right. Okay. One more color and chat to do for this month for the Belba family color along. Not sure which book yet. I am thinking possibly um, Woman because I absolutely love that book. And I'm trying to see what 
what fine liner have I not colored with yet? Oh, I have my Limoche dual tips, but they're very, very similar to these. But then I do have my Statlers, and I have not colored with my Statlers yet. So I'm thinking it may be the Woman book and then my Statler fine liners. Unless I change my mind. <laughs> we shall see. So anyhow, enough of my jabbering. Um, so I hope you liked this color in chat. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put up new videos. I hope everybody's having a terrific Wednesday. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.